Hello everybody. Um, my name is Vipin Kumar. I am a software developer. I have 15 plus years of experience in software development. Um, uh, this is my attempt to propagate the um, message about um, blockchain. Okay, blockchain. I see blockchain as a technology for the future so um, um and uh, and i see blockchain as a revolutionary technology i believe in blockchain and i see it as a uh, transformational technology by that i meant that it can it can transform our society um, it can fight corruption it can fight mismanagement it can in 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 that way it can fight poverty it can reduce the conflicts and um, in nutshell i believe that this technology can um, bring a peaceful sustainable coexisting society and uh, that, that's what I got attracted to be, uh, blockchain uh, and by this training I um, I attempt to propagate the message about blockchain as far as possible and uh, this is my humble effort um, humble effort towards that um, okay that's about me and let's uh, discuss what's what is blockchain Okay, uh, we can say blockchain is a growing list of records called blocks which are linked using cryptography. Okay, so in general terms, a blockchain is a immutable transaction ledger maintained with a, within a distributed network of peer nodes. These nodes each maintain a copy of the ledger by applying transactions that have validated by a consensus protocol grouped into blocks that include hash that bind each block to the preceding block. Okay. Uh, we, we, we will discuss each of these um, terms in detail. I have few diagrams to share with you. Um, okay, let's consider this diagram. Okay, um, someone requests a transaction. Okay, someone sending money to other person. Okay, the request submitted to the network P2P network, peer to P network. Um, and uh, to, to successfully process that transaction, we need to validate, we need to validate the origin. We need to validate to the source and the destination. Um, uh, and once the validation is successfully finished, um, a, the block is get added to the blockchain. So that, that's how this blockchain grows. A request comes, request is get submitted to the network. Network validates the, the request. Everybody in this network should agree. Okay. Once all uh, come to a, uh, um, come into a agreement, the block get created and added to the network, and transaction complete successfully. Okay, this is how the blockchain flow happens. Um, okay, by peer to peer, what we meant peer to peer um, nodes are the cornerstone of this technology. The current system. Um, is that it has a centralized server one server sits on the top and everybody has tried to access that server okay um, it offers many advantages but the disadvantage is that if somehow one server get uh, uh, hacked or one server gets compromised all the information containing that server will get lost we have seen situation like uh, customer information getting hacked the privacy private privacy information getting hacked so those um, th those kind of issues this blockchain can solve that so um, 
so the, the yeah, i will uh, i see this blockchain as a evolutionary um technology it, it's next level what we have achieved a lot we many progress are in the from the main frame to internet to current to cloud computing and the world has progressed a lot but um we there are there are some issues still uh, um, there with this uh, blockchain is uh, blockchain trying to address what um, the missing links okay uh, like um, um, security and th this is another diagram okay transaction requested uh, um, and uh, submitted to the network nodes all the nodes get uh, validated and uh, once the validation complete the um, um, block get added to the blockchain transaction concludes okay okay let's try again this is um okay i have one more diagram yeah it's a continuation of the previous diagram <clears throat> a transaction uh, is requested a transaction accepted and um, it got validated and added to the block there, there, there can be another scenario. Transaction for one or other reasons, uh, transaction may get rejected. So in that case, we, we, it will not create a new block, but there will be an entry made for the rejected transaction. Um, so um, yeah, that that uh, the rejection get recorded also. Um, okay. Now we comes to the elements of a block okay um the genesis block is also known as block zero is the ancestor that every other block in the chain can trace its lineage back to okay um block zero is the genesis block the first block and um, every block will have a link to previous hash okay all the all the blocks are linked with with the previous and in the that's the way we can trace back the transactions um so it will have an index timestamp previous hash, hash and the time this is a simple um representation of the blockchain blockchain is a little bit uh, complex than this we can design whatever way we want but every blockchain contains at least these elements okay so that's um th that's about blockchain okay um, we will 